I'm not really someone who loves to read instructions. Everything in my life has to be completely intuitively designed. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful commercial, our typical American sheeple. Let's take off the comfy shades and look at what's really happening. I want to talk about the New York Stock Exchange, which is represented in this video by the Dow Jones Industrial Average and will represent your retirement account someday, if not now. We've got a lot of people getting out. It's the baby boomers getting ready to retire. First, <clears throat> let me go over a price as defined by value. It's the ratio of two values. And I'm going to give some quick examples here. For instance, oil, a barrel of oil exchanges for $101.15. Gold exchanges for $960 at this time. However, if the value of the dollar falls, it will take more dollars to buy the same ounce of gold. Now, not all ratios are have units. For instance, the euro to the dollar is presently ratioed at 1.15. And the euro and the dollar aren't the only, only currencies. We could use gold as a currency, in which case, right now, we would be able to purchase nine and a half barrels of oil for one ounce of gold. Now, this ratio isn't static. Let's look at it over time. We see that, for instance, oil has ranged between eight and a half and 12 barrels per ounce of gold. Okay, now, we can look at the New York Stock Exchange as a commodity. Although it's indexed, it is price weighted, so we can think of it in terms of dollars. Here is the Dow Jones and its performance over two years. So we're actually sitting at 12 and a half percent gain over a two year period uh, as denominated in dollars. Well, what happens if we look at it in other currencies? For instance, in gold, the Dow Jones has lost over 25% in the past two years. In terms of oil, the Dow Jones is down 20% in two years, although it had a nice early gains. In terms of euros, uh, our brethren across the sea see us losing. They've got to be laughing at us. Look at the difference. Here we are. We think we're going up, and the Europeans are looking at us saying, no, you're not. You're losing money. You're losing purchasing power. All this stuff that you really have to buy, because the dollar itself is meaningless. And the real joke is that when you cash in your retirement account, you're going to have to, guess what? pay taxes on 12.5% gain, although in real terms, from the European perspective, we are paying taxes on losses. What kind of, what's up with that? That's crazy, that's inflation. Let's look at that. In 2000, the value of the euro was 85 cents to the dollar. Today, it takes one and a half dollars to buy a euro. So. This is the value of the dollar has lost 44% and here it is. So what's the difference between Euroland and North America? Both highly industrialized, very consumptive uh, countries. So let's, you know, what is it? It's, is it the eight year expedition to the Middle East? Perhaps so. There it is. There's the difference between the two in just two years. A drop in 15%. Now, over eight years, the Dow Jones went from 11,000 to 13,000. So that's an 18% gain. And we are already aware that the dollar lost 44%. So, in reality, your Dow Jones retirement account has dropped to 66% of its original value in real world terms. The New York Stock Exchange is valued at about $25 trillion. 34% of that was lost over the last eight years. So that is a loss of $8.5 trillion or $73,000 per U.S. household. Wow. Fascinating. Okay. Now, back to oil and gold. We have organics. 
um, starting to become more valuable than inorganic. So oil, the trend is that you will be able to buy less oil for the same amount of gold over time. In fact, oil is gaining about 3 to 4% per year over gold. Please keep this in mind. Okay, now let's relax and go back and put those comfy shades over our heads. Uh, please rate this video if you found it instructional. Pass it on to your friends. They may need some help. And don't forget to vote for Ron Paul. Good night. I'm not really someone who loves to read instructions. Everything in my life has to be completely intuitively designed. Connects to the way my brain is wired. Man.